before I actually get to the actual RM day, one thing that's been really getting on my nerves is that I want to, you know, go to the gym. I want to go to different places to lift. I don't want to just lift in the room all the time in every single video. You know, obviously, if I wasn't making videos, I could do that every day. Like, I don't get tired of doing this at all. But one thing I want to do is I want to, you know, start new things for the videos. Like, I want to go to different gyms for the videos. I want to go to parks. I want to go to this and this and that. But I can't do that if I can't, you know, get a ride there, which, you know, of course, I can't drive yet. I'm not the age of, you know, that. But soon, whenever I get that age, I'm going to start driving to the gym, etc. And when I start doing that, then we're going to have a lot of content. We're going to have a lot of things we're going to do. And it's not just going to be gym related. Like, we're going to be going other places that's not, you know, that has nothing to do with the gym. <laughs> so much different ideas i got in my head that i can't you know bring out just now yet but very soon like i said there will be new content out um there will be you know that outside pull-up bar we're gonna have a squat rack soon all that we oh uh, we have all this stuff in the house we just don't have the tools to build it yet because i already know this stuff is going to take forever to build if i'm being realistic here anyways let's get some arms i was thinking about doing barbell curls first but now I always end up doing the standard bicep curls beyond failure first because those be the lightest. I don't really like starting off with the heaviest exercise first just because now that I think about it, it's kind of stupid because when I need to do that first so I could do more reps on the heavier exercises. Matter of fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's start off with bicep, not bicep, barbell curls first. I don't know why I don't start off with normal curls first. We should have been doing that, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Not normal curls. I mean barbell curls first. So for now on, we're going to do barbell curls first. And then bicep curls last, you know, including with chin-ups. Chin-ups is going to be like the very last exercise we're going to do. But uh, regular normal bicep curls is going to be like the third bicep exercise we're going to do. And then we're gonna get back to it. Alright, let's load up some weight and we're gonna rep out. Let's do some easy bar curls. We just gonna put the uh, 225s on each side and it's burn out. I used to do these back at the gym back when I didn't have any gym equipment. I used to go to that one gym and it was called Move Fitness. I used to always love how the easy bar curls look. I feel like just easy bar curls in general are just mad satisfying to do. They're way better than just normal curls and barbell curls. Easy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh! <sighs> 
that first set right there took a lot out of me. That was too crazy. Whew. Let's do two more sets and then we doing bicep curls. We got one more in us, and we're going to go stupid. And then we got those normal curls right after this, don't we? This arm pump going to be crazy. Look how pumped up our biceps are. Oh my goodness, done with the uh, the biceps yet. We still on them. And they already just pumped up like crazy right now. We gonna finish. We gonna do these curls and then we doing chin ups and then we gonna flex the final result. And then we gonna flex the final result. By the time we done, we gonna be seeing a whole lot of bicep veins. More veins than we just saw here. That felt good. I feel like we got two more sets in us. I usually just like to do two to three sets beyond failure. Just hard beyond failure sets. Going as hard as I literally physically can that my body can't even handle. And then I feel like that's about enough. Anything above three sets is not really needed. I feel like low volume, high intensity is the best. Let's hurry up and finish this last set. Not last set, let's hurry up and do the second set. Cause I'm ready to have some fun. Give myself too much of a long rest time. Let's just get right to this. We're gonna do one more set and then we doing weighted chin ups. Uh, weighted dip belt. We're gonna wrap it around our waist right quick and we're gonna prepare. First, let's recover up for a good one minute and then we doing weighted chin ups now. As, as hard it is to believe. You know, because of course you're watching me do this and you're seeing me put in max effort on all these sets. I genuinely had no energy and literally did not feel like training at all today. <laughs> literally, but we still did it. It's called discipline. One thing most people don't have. Those of you that are watching right now, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. We almost close to 60K. Oh, proud of ourselves. Um, 59,000 of goats right now that subscribe to the channel. I love every one of y'all. Very soon, we're going to send to more higher goals. We just got to keep working hard. But yeah, very soon, the content is decent right now. But very soon, a couple months, maybe weeks, who knows? Who knows what time of the day it is? Who knows, I might be able to do something tomorrow. Who knows? Time will tell. Very soon there will be new environments that I'll be in for the lifts. And some videos, it won't even be a workout video. Some videos will be different. <laughs> Uh. 
for now on triceps now. We found out about this new exercise I'm gonna start doing for triceps now. So it's gonna be like a really, it's gonna be some close grip bench, but it's not gonna be like actual, like the close grip bench I usually do on chest days. Cause I always do close grip bench. Cause the way my um bench setup is, I can't really do the best grip. So I could, you know, go heavier on a uh, bench. Cause I'll be able to bench, you know, heavier weight if I widen in my grip more, but that's just how my bench is set up. So I really have nothing to do about that. But we're gonna go for a closer, closer grip. And this is gonna be like very close. And it's gonna be with some lightweight, probably just like 95 pounds or something. Yeah, we just gonna get like 95 pounds and we just gonna rep out over and over and over on flat. And we just gonna really get those triceps as burnt out as possible. Matter of fact, we just gonna do it on incline. Why not? Let's do it on incline. But we not even, Close to triceps, yeah, we had biceps still, so we not nowhere near there yet, but we're excited though. I usually like to start off heavy, then end off heavy. Now I like to tra I train my style a little bit, cause back then I used to always do lightweight, like like a year ago, two years ago, I used to always, you know, do lightweight. I used to always try to do a weight that was really light, and I would do like a whole bunch of reps. So I'll be doing like twenty plus reps on each exercise, and I'll be having, you know, high volume, mild intensity workouts. Well, actually, I want to call it mild intensity because I was still going. I remember. I just remember because I was still going beyond failure. But literally, I don't know. It was something wrong with me back then. Like, I, I used to actually sit there and rep out 30-pound dumbbells for, like, two minutes. A whole two-minute set beyond failure. And I used to enjoy it. I don't know how. I could sit there and do that now and, of course, you know, do it and like it. But at that point, a two-minute bicep exercise for just one set so that's like two minutes each set two to three minutes each set doing 30 pound dumbbell curls those 30 pound dumbbells feel like they're 15 pounds they're light i don't know why but they they feel very light so back then those workouts used to be a long time even on flat bench like flat bench my max used to be like way 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 better than 95 pounds but i used to actually sit there and do like 30 to 25 plus reps with 95 pounds, knowing that my max is way heavier than that. I don't know why I did that. I should have been going heavy. I, I low-key regret doing that because I would have been way stronger than where I am now if I wasn't, you know, training just for hypertrophy back then. But now I train for strength and hypertrophy. So, you know, that's a win-win now, but I'd be stronger if I would have been training that, training like that from the begin with. But we live and we learn. Uh, we progress, we learn new things. Still right now, currently, I'm learning new things as I progress. Learning from people that's stronger than me. Um, not just by them telling me, but like, you know, just watching videos about people, you know, never, you know, never don't want to take any, you know, constructive criticism, especially when it comes to like, you know, people that are, you know, way ahead of your league right now. Like me, there's some bodybuilders that's way ahead of my league. There's YouTubers that I know that's way ahead of my league that know more things about training than I do. So I sit there and, you know, gather all that information that they give out for free. And then I give it out to y'all. Of course, the training beyond failure part, all that part, that came from the heart. That came from me. Nobody ever told me to start training like that. I just randomly woke up one day, literally, and I just started training like that. I don't know why. And ever since, I, ever since that day, I started training like that hard with that much intensity. I just never stopped. I always just kept training like that. I always kept training beyond failure. Mm -hmm. And then it just became a thing where people know me for having a very intense training style. Anyways, let's get to these weighted chin-ups. <laughs> ready for some good old loud raises tonight i know i am let's do these loud raises uh, i want to start for 45 pounds i feel like i should start going heavier 
when it comes to, you know, loud raises, I feel like I just, 30 pounds, they just take so long for me to go beyond failure. Yeah, of course, lightweight has always been the best option when it comes to building your shoulders. I don't know why, I feel like 30 pounds is good for your shoulders, but if I was, if I had like some 15 pound weights, just some like tiny 15 pound weights, bro, I swear my shoulders would be much bigger. I feel like the lighter the weight is, the better it is for my shoulders, but I'll be doing a whole lot of reps though mm -hmm. to really go beyond failure. But when it comes to heavyweight, you get to failure quicker. Like you just, your shoulders are already burnt out already. But the bad thing about it is that your form won't always be the best, but who really cares? I'm still training my shoulders, if I'm being honest. All right, let's do some freaking loud raises and build some freaking boulders, shall we? Let's freaking do it. Boy, when I tell y'all I was excited for this, I was. I was honestly, uh, yeah, yeah, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I was excited for this arm day in general. I don't know why. Just recording these lifts, working out, training every day, do any type of training. It could be, you know, conditioning, wrestling, basketball, football, whatever. Those type of videos, I will, honestly, I always thought about, you know, just going to a random, you know, boxing place and just getting some training there and recording it for y'all. I actually used to box, I used to wrestle all that back then, but of course I don't do that now because now I bodybuild. I switch all that out to do to be a bodybuilder. I feel like this is what I want to do. But oh yeah, I didn't mean to say football. I never did I never played football in my life. I don't know why people want me to play football. I know nothing about it. So there's literally like no point in me playing football if I literally know literally nothing about it. Um if I knew things about it, if I actually sat there and tried to dedicate my life to football, I would actually be really good at it if I'm being honest, but um I just don't like football in general. Like, I just feel like football is a boring sport to me. And another thing, um, wrestling, that sport was good. I was dominating the wrestling, uh, boxing, dominating. Those two, those, those two are my favorite, wrestling and boxing. Those two are my favorite. But, like, basketball, football, all that, not for me right now. Um, but right now, for my number one place, I'm staying here. Bodybuilding, number one, best sport in my opinion. I love bodybuilding. This is fun. One thing about bodybuilding, though, it is really hard. When we get older, we're going to be competing soon. So I might as well prepare right now. So when I'm on that stage, I'm going to be going crazy. And if y'all ever are OG and y'all end up seeing me when I'm older, I hope someone has this clip right here. You know, they could show this clip of me talking about, you know, how I was from now to, well, from here to like a couple years back. By the time I see this clip of myself on the internet, I'm gonna be way bigger than I am now and I'm gonna be way older. I can't wait for that day. Anyways, all the yapping. Let's do these loud raises. Can't, don't we? Quick drop set, 30 pounds now. My shoulders are getting sore, boy. Wow, that was good. I ain't gonna lie. For now, when I'm doing loud raises, 
I'm gonna do th I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna start with the 45s. Then we're gonna drop sets to the 30s every time. Do one more set, and then we're gonna do some shoulder press. <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad. Come on, keep going. What's really gonna get my my shoulders some real good action? It's some ninety five pound shoulder press. We just gonna load up like two twenty five pounds on each side, and then we gonna you know plus the bar, and we just gonna rep that out. But we're gonna do it standing up though, obviously, because we don't have a squat rack yet where we could just, you know, have the the barbell on the rack and I could just pull it up while standing up. I gotta actually be standing up and use my mitts and get it up. But very soon when we get a squat rack, we are gonna be doing shoulder press with 135. I swear this water bottle keeps um the water so cold in here. I don't know how. Like I pour water in here, right? And it was like pretty hot, and then when I put it in here, like when when I drunk when I drank out of this, the water just out of nowhere it just became cold. It went from being mildly warm to like a little bit warm to now being like cold. It's a good water bottle. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shout out to our shout out to the dudes that gave me this internal legacy. <clears throat> Let's do one more set with this weight right here and then we're gonna drop set and we just gonna do like it's gonna be like quick we're gonna do like we're gonna finish this we're gonna do this set right now right and then right when we done the set we're gonna quickly take the weights off and we're just gonna burn out with just the bar <clears throat> For the last thing now, we got triceps. So I said I was going to try out that new exercise, right? Well, we are. So let's wrap up the bench, right? And we're going to set it up. Let's do some push-ups and then we're going to go ahead and do yeah, so we're gonna do normal push-ups first, diamond push-ups second, close grip push-ups after that, dips, then skull crushers. It's gonna be our tricep day for tonight. Now let's begin. <clears throat> Let's do some normal dips, not normal dips. Some normal uh, diamond push-ups be our failure now. Uh. 
Our triceps are obliterated. We're gonna do some close grip push-ups right now. Let's take this barbell off the rack and we're gonna use that as the push-ups. Use that for the push-ups, I meant to say. Just how I tell you, boy, that's going those are gonna be something else. Let's get ready to do them right now. I'm ready for these. We're gonna do some body weight dips and we done. We're gonna get ready to head in the shower. But first, let's see what we get got to eat. All right, we got turkey and rice and green beans. That's gonna be our first meal for today, other than the meals we had at school. 